going on, Leos? Thank you to everyone that's liked, shared, subscribed. If you guys have purchased a reading, if you've donated to my page, I'm so grateful for you. If you have not subscribed, please do so that you know when I'm here. My loves, I appreciate it. You can also find me on TikTok for those of you that's over there. Okay, I'm doing little by little. My father has been in the hospital. He's home now. Uh, but I have been overwhelmed a bit, you know, with caregiving responsibilities uh, between him and my daughter. So, um... I appreciate you guys for being patient with me. I appreciate you for find me want, finding me once again. I can't even talk today. I'm so grateful for each of you, okay? All right, so this is what we're looking at, all right? So Leo in your energy is someone that's learning a lesson. They're currently stuck in a lesson, okay? Um, I feel like this is someone that's not able to be with you, even though you have undying love for this person. I feel like this person um, was someone that you um, are very knowledgeable about. Now, this knowledge card is here for a reason. Not only are you knowledgeable about this person, meaning you know a lot about this person, okay? This person may have been around you in the relationship or situationship capacity. Um, this is someone that walked away from you. Um and broke your heart, right? You possibly had to watch them go with someone else, um, whoever this energy is. You just wanted to have something complete with this person, something that was real with this person, and you felt like it was your divine right to have so. Um, with this knowledge energy here coming through, it's saying that you're trying to understand the connection with the, with the counterpart by reading books, searching the internet, watching tarot readings. Now, with this energy, I feel like this is what happened. I feel like you guys found your spiritual purpose while you were trying to understand this connection with this person. You may have started tapping into ways that you were feeling, numbers that you were seeing, things that were going on around you that you couldn't understand, and you started doing the research for yourself to get a better understanding of what you may be going through. Um, this is how people go through the dark night of the souls and, and the um, awakenings that we go through. We go through many awakenings in our life. Um, each one is a little bit different and each one is meant to teach us something else, okay? Um, but you may have, like like I said, you may have watched this person walk off to another relationship. You may have um, got your heart broke uh, because as this person was walking off, you felt like you were the person that was supposed to have their heart and this is not what happened. Spirit is telling me to look at the bottom of the deck. Let's see why. Okay, yep. So it says that you're very nostalgic about this person. You guys could have done a lot of uh, beautiful things together. A lot of things that come up in your mind um, when you feel like, you know, you want to look at something beautiful. And what I mean by that is, you know, some of the images uh, that we save um, when it comes to the moments in relationships are beautiful for us, even if it's not beautiful for other people, right? We we capture those moments in our minds for certain reasons, and this could be what you're doing now. Certain things that were said, certain things that were did, certain places you guys went, etc. Nothing's wrong with that, okay? Um, but understanding that this person is totally stuck, all right? Um, and when I say stuck, what I mean is, do they have the option to come towards you? Absolutely. Um, but will it be long term? No, it won't. Um, and that will be because they are connected to someone else. And this person is investing their time, their energy and their willpower in that situation. Now, they may not have been as honest with you as they could have been. They were being deceptive, right? They may have not have told you how uh, connected they were with other people or with another person you know i do apologize for that energy coming through here uh, but this is what it is right so this person is learning a lesson that they need to learn in this lifetime and that means that they're going to have to go through it but that doesn't mean that you're not going to continue to be haunted by their energy right now this is somebody um like it looks like a horror film right no matter what you do you cannot escape this nightmare of not having this person in your life and what what this means for me is that you had the right to go upward 
and ascend with this person, but this person decided to ascend with someone else and you're still stuck in that moment of wanting to get past um, that rejection or that inner turmoil that happens when this person uh, did you dirty, okay? They had no excuses for it, none, okay? And they may not have offered you any. Um, when you ask them what was going on, they may not have had anything that made anything uh, real to you or that made any sense, okay? And for you, Leo, this would be something that, you know, what, what can you possibly say, right? Except that you sold out or that you left me alone or that there was a reason why you went away to someone else and that, you know, you felt that person uh, would give you something that I couldn't, etc. right? Just say that you sold your soul. Just say that you went off and did something, you know, that you felt would benefit you and that you left me feeling like I wasn't unlovable, um, that you you denied me or you rejected me, right? Yeah, this is what this person did, right? They were very secretive. They were not showing you everything, right? They weren't telling you that they were dealing with someone that was very envious of who they were with and what they were doing, right? And they may have been very deceptive to, uh, to you because they weren't telling you where they were or who they were with, right? And they may have children with this person. And that could be why, but this person... They were also very childish when it comes to their interactions with you, Leo, because they could have kept it a buck, right? Instead, they escaped, right? So they did everything that they needed to do when it came to you, right? They didn't turn down no sex. They didn't turn down any of the offers that you had for them um, while they were around. And then when they felt like they had had enough of what you had to offer, they went on about their business, right? Which is terrible. Well, that's never the way that someone should should move, okay? Um, let's see what else Spirit has. Let me, give me. Yeah, they felt like you were someone that gave to them. You were very generous. They felt like you were like a Santa Claus or, or, or a Mrs. Claus to them in regards to how you treated them. I'm feeling like home-cooked meals. I'm feeling like you may have washed their clothes. You may have bought their clothes. You've done, you've done things for this person, uh, Leo, that other people would never have done, okay? Right? And you tamed their desires or you gave in to their desires here, right? You gave them what you, what, what you could regarding um, their high appetite for sex. I feel like they had uh, maybe a unique way of doing things in the bedroom and you did your best to appease them, right? But this person may have wore you out. And with, with this card here, um, this is a Leo energy card, Spirit of the Sun. They may have worn you down to the point to now. You're still in your emotions about it. You're still feeling some sort of way because, yeah, they took all your energy and drained it because you felt like, you know, the energy that you were giving them was going somewhere. The energy that you were giving them was um, making it so that they would see you for what you were worth. And in turn, what you were doing was losing your worth, right? You were you were giving away the power to someone else um, instead of standing up for yourself the way that you could have been doing, my loves, okay? So if this person was walking away from you, you, you should have let them walk. Okay, if this person was giving you a hard time or treating you like you um, had some goodie bag to give them and some time and some energy to give them all the time when they were not um, reciprocating to you. Yeah, this is not something that you should have been in. This is not a way that a person treats anyone that they absolutely care about. It's just not. Okay, um, so. You, you guys know I'm going to keep it a buck with you at all times. And I'm going to do everything in my power to tell you what I see, you know. Um, and I do apologize for the bluntness. But, yeah, I got to tell you what I see, my loves. So, you know, I, I try to warn <laughs> warn my clients. I got over 100 clients that I do readings for. And I warn them, you know. But they say, you know what, Renee, it's okay. This is why we come to you. It's because we, we need the cut and dry you know, we need the information, you know, and um, this is this is what it is, right? So, you know, I do apologize for you that may be new watching me and you're not used to this style of reading. Um, but, yeah, um, I just want you to know what's up and so do your guides, okay? So, look, I tried to replace you, but you cannot be replaced. So, this person, 
They wanted to take all the unique qualities that you had and place them in another person. But they wanted to make sure that they can not clone you, but have the best of both worlds. And that's really not how it works, right? Be because, you know, they didn't give you the option or the capability of being able to be both worlds, right? They didn't even give you a chance to show them what you were capable of or what you were made of, but they took what they wanted to take from you and used you for what they wanted to use you for. And when they were done with that, they went on about their business and figured out, yeah, I really want this now, right? I'm so sorry that they treated you like that, right? Now, you are the person that I've been waiting for all of my life. This is something that this person is coming into a realization about, right? Because as they were trying to replace you with someone else or trying to get version you 5.0, okay, they're now realizing that the qualities that you held were genuine and the qualities that you held were ones that really did have their best interests at heart and was not something that was lingering in the back inside of like, what is this person going to do to me next? Or what does this person really want from me? They never had to ask that question when it came to you, right? And they know now that your energy is not as strong towards them as it has been. So they can feel that you're healing, right? So this tells me that this is absolutely a soul connection because they could feel you know, um, your energy, you know, via telepathy, they could feel some of the things that you're sensing regarding them as well. Like, right, they may be in a panic because they know that you're very intuitive and that you can feel um, some of the things that they're thinking. You may, you may already know that this person thinks about you. Your dreams may be telling that this person thinks about you. But it's up to you to be able to stay in this healing energy um, that you've been in, right? For some of you, you may be experiencing the moments of of uh, like an arousal, okay? And it's because this person has been, been tapping into your energy to finish off something that they're doing by themselves, okay? Um, for some of you, you may have watched this person do this before, right? It could have been something that was a bit of an aphrodisiac for the both of you. Um, and this person may be going back to those times in their mind because they're very nostalgic about you as well and um, using it to get past the situation that they're currently in with someone else, right? This person now sees you as a divine feminine energy and that doesn't mean that you have to be a woman. You could be a man or a woman with that energy. doesn't matter, right? And this person says, why didn't I go towards Leo instead? Why didn't I marry Leo? instead why didn't i you know stop with the nonsense and the childish behavior to be able to give leo what they deserve in the bottom of the deck i don't know what to do i'm so ashamed right so this person is feeling like why how why did i do that to leo why 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 right they took care of me they fed me they bathed me right they helped me with my business for some of you and that's not going to resonate with everyone, but they put, you know, their heart and soul into me. They were able to help me be motivated, help me feel better. And then what do I do? I turn my back and I walk away from them to what I feel, you know, better suits my life or better suits the vision that I have for my life, etc. Right. And I hurt someone that was really valuable to me. Right. I didn't have to do that. And now this person is feeling like they're going to have to now watch you walk off with someone else, right? Ace of Wands energy. Do I come back? Do I offer something? Um, do I tell Leo how much of an inspiration that they've been to me? Do I offer, right? Some of you could be dealing with a, fire, a fellow fire sign, all right? But what do I do? Do I come back and say, hey, you know, I want to I wanna revamp this, right? Um, my body misses your body, right? I miss the, the intimate times that we had together. What do I need to do um, to get back on track uh, with Leo, right? Meanwhile, Leo, you're out here. You're having new beginnings, right? You're doing things to try and get yourself past this moment in time, okay? Um, some of you may be starting to date or maybe thinking about it. I feel like your passions, whatever that may be, some of you may have delved right into work and may be focused on work, 
right? I feel like your energy has not been as focused on this person as it was um, in previous weeks or, or, or months, okay? And I feel like they can absolutely feel it. For some of you, it's years. For some of you, you haven't dealt with this person in years, okay? Um, and, and they still are someone that brings your heart to a place of warmth, right? Yep. Now, this person wants to come towards you. They want to come in. They want to race in, right? They want to come and charge with that wand, right? <laughs> they want to say, hey, 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 you know, remember me, right? You know, let me show you what, how much I miss you. Let me show you who I am now. Let me prove to you, you know, that I'm not like I was before. Let me be generous with you like you were with me, right? This is a person that wants to negotiate some some panty dropping or some or some uh, boxer dropping here. Okay, you guys want to be very careful with this energy because guess what? You now know what it is that you want, right? And you may have felt that you wanted this person before, and you possibly could still want this person. However, if you tap into your actual needs, my love you'll understand that your needs do not align with, with the resume of abilities that this person has to offer. It just doesn't align. They're not qualified to be your person. They're not qualified to love you, and they're not qualified to stand beside you in this lifetime. They're just not. They haven't done the work. They haven't went through the things that you've went through. They haven't been there, so, there to support you or to love you through the things that you went through either, right? And half of the things that have hurt you to the bone are the ones that they caused, okay? So yeah, they're just, yeah, they're, they're, mm -mm. If this If this was a job interview, they would not be passing. <laughs> if this was a job interview, they, they would, yeah, they would not get the job. They just wouldn't, right? Spirit wants you to hold tight. Spirit wants you to rest up. Spirit wants you to stay in the mind frame of understanding how you had to pull all these swords out your chest when this person did it, right? When these person this person stabbed you up, right? They want you to understand how that felt, right? To look at them swords as you lay there and just say, thank you, I'm so so grateful for not being in that predicament or in that situation anymore they don't want you to feel fear and anxiety and stress anymore they don't want you uh, to be overloaded in your mind because you're thinking about this person they want you to be peaceful they want you you know to to continue healing to continue going through uh, the proper channels and stages of healing as well okay for some of you this person could have had you in the hospital seeking mental treatment not going to resonate with everyone but this person may have may have had you in a place to where you needed help and guess what guys it's nothing to be ashamed about we all need help at some point in time but how brave would be were you to go and get it okay i'm so proud of you Spirit wants you to take a chance on yourself. Spirit wants you to understand how powerful you are. Spirit wants to understand that right now you may not be in a relationship or a situationship, but you do have freedom and power to do as you want to, right? Some of you should be traveling. You may be meeting someone in a different country, okay? Spirit wants you to understand that that lack of commitment that you that um, you feel is terrible because you want commitment, right? It's not as bad as you think because right now you're able to focus on yourself and focusing on yourself the way that you need to and the way that you deserve will bring in that person that will then focus on you, okay? Power of attraction, my loves. But anyway, this is what I have for you. I'm sending you guys the utmost love and light. Okay, if anyone needs personal reading, the information is in the box below, my loves. Take care.